Through the centuries, Manchester has experienced enormous transformations, growing from a Roman settlement into a bustling and thriving metropolis. But under cover of darkness, the spirits of Manchester's past are said to clamber out from their daytime hiding places and wreak havoc. During the intense redevelopment of the city's historic buildings, some say residual energies and shadows of the past are being unwittingly unleashed. The whole city and its surroundings are reputedly home to a vast array of ghostly phenomena. Join us as Most Haunted Live brings to light Manchester's notorious dark, paranormal reputation. I'm from Manchester and I've always wanted to do a Most Haunted from a location, but I couldn't believe my luck when we found quite a few of them and we thought this will be fantastic to do mayhem in Manchester. We're actually inside uh, the stables, um, which is sort of the first part of our investigation um, of um, Staircase House. It really does have a very creepy feel to it. I mean, what do you think here into this, to this place? Definitely the moment we walked in, and I think the crew will feel the same way, because it is the stables, we've got the wood top, it's just, it just got quite a creepy atmosphere. And they've really put does. straw in here on the ground, you can actually see, it yeah, smells smell like... Yeah, smell it too, yeah, can't exactly. you? Yeah. Almost immediately that we arrived at the Staircase House, I was picking up a, quite a bit of residual energy, but that energy wasn't really pronounced. Actually, we were no sooner walked in, and I, I was very aware of a spirit man to my left side, a small man um, that seemed to be wearing, uh, in the front anyway, he had these, like, uh, large boots. This is going to sound absolutely silly to you, but this is what was actually permeating, if that's the right word, around me. Um, I felt as if... I was taking this man's place as if he was very busy, and it's like, as if, um, you know, I could smell, you know when you smell the, fra the fragrance of leather, mm -hmm. and, you know, and I, I'm aware, for some reason, that, as if he's got a lot of shoes and boots and things, and to me, it's, it, I, I feel he was very busy, a tradesman, a man that used to cobble shoes, do things like this, mm -hmm. and um, that man is very aware, that he's a spirit man, He's around, he's listening to us, he's probably watching us now. Okay. And I know he's one. In actual fact, there's more movement than just that spirit man here. There's a lot of, a lot of activity um, going throughout. Um, I know this is only the first, I suppose, location. Yeah. But I'm aware of this man very strongly. And it was wild, wild, wild. So I said to Sam, was he wild? And he said, no, this is the name. Okay. So I take it to be a surname, wild. And they, they also give me... Um, a, could, is that a, I also get Robert, so it could be Robert Wilde. Can I just ask, because we did lose sound for a little while, we had a technical problem there. Yeah. Is this the gentleman that you just you first picked up that, yes. that, that, that wore the leather? Yes. I, I feel he was um, very busy, a very busy man. Right. And I, I pick up boots and shoes mm -hmm. and leather, you know, and as if he's cobbling, he's doing... And do you think he would have done this in this particular area? He, he may have actually done it in the area, or it also it could be quite close by to here, mm -hmm. and he's come in to see what's happening. Right. But he is active here this month. Mm -hmm. Robert, Robert Wilde, if you can hear my voice, please can you come forward? I'm calling out for Robert Wilde, if you can hear my voice, give us some sort of sign. Affect us here, or Rachel, Kath and Stuart in the next room, please do something. Anything at all to let us know you're around. Please tap again. If that was you before, please knock again. Please give us some sort of sign. Can you hear my voice? You know, you won't believe this, but this, oh, God, just right under my nostrils, my nose then at the moment, someone has just put a container um, right under my nose to let me smell. And it's all it, it smells of just, you know, um, uh, I don't know how I can describe it, tea? Mm -hmm. Tea. Mm -hmm. And, but tea that's not been made in, into tea, if you understand me, raw tea. So the tea leaves, as it were? Yeah, right. and I, I seem to be, my, my, oh, the smell of it's so strong and pudding to me. Mm. So who's giving you that? Is it that? 
I don't feel it's the same person. I, I, I feel someone, uh, someone else is at play here as well, mm -hmm. another spirit man. He did it purposely, put it right on so I could smell it. And um, I feel he's possibly one of the, what, the, the group, maybe they're not all connected, maybe from different times, but I feel he belongs here as well. Okay. Or he feels he belongs here. Although I'm not getting a name with him as yet. Staircase House has a terrifying reputation and, allegedly, a plethora of spectral figures and phases of paranormal pandemonium. Here in the unnaturally quiet kitchen, some say they regularly listen to unexplained and bizarre noises. Why do some hear these creepy and mysterious sounds? Why are some visitors so disturbed they flee in terror? Could it be a mysterious force that's attempting to make some contact or connection? Well, we're coming here into the, uh, the kitchen area where supposedly a lot of noises uh, are heard in here. Now, you were just saying when we were on the break, you think it's down to this gentleman, don't you, that you I, picked up Absolutely. Now that we're in this energy here now in this room, I've got a kitchen area, and um, this one moves about, mm -hmm. this building. I don't know how big it is. We've only been to two mm -hmm. areas. But he moves about here very freely. More freely, I think, than any other spirit people that are in visitation. Mm -hmm. This one is grounded. Why do you think he's grounded? Uh, it was, door, was, it? was that Third one of us? Yeah. Right, okay. That was, okay. was alright. It's, it's human. Is there anybody here? Are there any astral beings, any spirit people that want to talk to us? If you do, please give us another sign. Can you knock on something? Throw something again. Knock something over in this room. There are plenty of things for you to push. Touch one of us. Knock on the floor, on the walls. What is that Did knocking? Them, it's, it's not a footstep, is it? No, it's knocking. It's a knocking. Yeah. yeah. Did, it, did it appear to be above us? I don't know. I, I, it sounded like something knocking on wood. Yeah. Is that and again? Just speak. Okay. Oh. What? What are you picking up? I just, just as I was standing there and just walking in. I felt it. I've got a, another energy. This is another one, Ivy. And he comes out and he's crouched over like that. And it's like as if I walked through his energies. And then I just wanted to mumble a lot of words. And he's talking, but the energy is like pr speaking over the same words, the same words, um, and quoting um, things out of the Bible, mm -hmm. out of a Bible. I know of a spirit man. I don't feel that you are grounded. I feel you come back many times here. And my guide, who I trust completely, has just told me that you lived here. This was your... You proudly owned this building. And he told me you were a reverend. We're here in... Well, yeah. I'll tell you where it enough. is. It's right by this table. It is, isn't it? It's, it's, yeah, right. it is, Kieran. Yeah. Keep calling out, Derek. Reverend. We're here in total respect. We know it's in your home. But please, again, for the sake of why we're here to find out a little bit about you, if you don't mind, please, you know, all we can ask of you um, is to give oh, us... There's one. Another one? Yeah. To give us a, more signals, more signs. Like I keep on repeating, we are here in respect. Come close. Hey. Another one. Wow. OK. Please, if you can continue to do so or do even more than this, Reverend. We're getting constant thudding and, and bangs. I mean, Kieran, how, what is this? What, what, how do you explain well, it? Well, the difficulty is because of the number of people in here that even if we're trying to be so careful about it, because it is a creaky floor, we have to be careful that it's oh, not us. Come on. So if come we're getting... On. Oh, my God. Not, you it's, feel that? Oh, my God. It's, two more, isn't it? It's so, it's so... Put your hand on this. Put, just put your hand on here. It's coming from the floor, it's not, yeah. it's not like... Everybody keep your feet completely still. I'll call out and see if it happens mm. again, yeah? Okay. Yeah, you yeah. happy with that? Yeah. Okay. If there is a man... Did you feel that, Kieran? I can just hear tap, tap, tap. tap. Can you hear it? Mm. I can hear taps. Come on, yeah. Kieran. Kieran, come on. Yeah, what what are they? We know that they're I know. Yeah, I we can want... hear them, but it's finding the origin of them and trying to get 
some sort of intelligence from it rather than just a response because we don't know how this house is going to react anyway on any given night. Is your name Robert? Have you been downstairs in the stables? Mm -hmm. Have you been following us? Please tap. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Sounds like you're okay, leaving. Right underneath me. Okay. Uh, you can definitely hear it. Yeah. What we need to do, I think we need to do a Ouija board to establish who this is. Mm. If there's anybody here, please. Please, can you move the glass? Move the glass for us if there is anybody here, please. Any spirit people, any astral beings, if there is somebody here with us now. It's so actually the temperature is dropping. Is there, a, is there an open door somewhere or some draft coming through? Oh, go on, Bennett. Okay. There See is a draft doing? coming up from that upstairs. That was snatched. Mm, it was. It was a yeah. snatch feeling, wasn't it? Yeah. See you all day. Please spell out your first name. D. D. Was that you? I don't know. I've just put my elbow on the table. Take your it? elbows off. Because I've just, I've just, did you hear I that? I heard it. Yeah. I heard a thump, thump. Thump, thump. Mm -hmm. yeah. Please spell out the second letter of your foot. That was your elbow, that Carl. Was... That was our Carl. I. Please continue to spell out your first name. What was that, E? E. C I E. D I E. O D I E. Please continue. Oh, die. Oh, that's nice. At the heart of this remarkable house is an amazing feature which gives the building its name a stunning Jacobean staircase, one of the finest examples of its kind in the world. This astonishing oak stairway has survived for more than 500 years, even though the building remained abandoned and derelict for many decades. At the top of the stairs near the sumptuous parlour, a male apparition is often seen and appears to be waiting patiently. Perhaps he is endeavouring to protect the house and its staircase, or is he waiting for someone or something entirely different? Tonight we closely examine this antiquated house with its profusion of paranormal sights and sounds. What awaits our brave team? What will appear? What puzzles will be solved? I'll tell you what, I've, I've come over all dizzy, but I think that's because it's such an uneven... Um, it's an uneven floor. Yeah, yeah, the steps it's funny, you know, as we're coming up this... These steps here, yeah. the feeling I'm getting is like a rushing of spirit energies coming up this stairwell and, and, and a very authoritative man leaning against this mm -hmm. and just doing this. And I wondered, what's he doing that for? It's like he's, he's gesturing at this here mm -hmm. and this stairwell. It's like, it's, you know, there's a, a sense of pride about this. Mm -hmm. And it's like, it's a, hey, you know, this, you know, this. This is my creation. I've done this. Do you like? I like. Don't offend me. You know, look at what I did. Right. And there's this pride coming up this stairs. Right. A it's, very not, it's not the same person that we picked up on the Ouija board, which of course we closed no. that, we closed that we down. We closed that down. Okay, but it's not him. No. It's not that this negative is a, spirit. No, no. This is a very authoritative man, this. I, mean, I just want to get off this staircase. Yeah. Oh. Is anybody else feeling dizzy or, or sick or anything like that? Yeah, lightheaded. Do you? I feel really lightheaded as well. I know the floors are really uneven. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's what's making us feel a bit lightheaded? Yeah, I definitely think it yeah? could be that. Yeah, because it's really disorientating, it's claustrophobic. You know, there's all these different corridors, and it's really weird feeling under your feet. Mm -hmm. It's just it's so like you're on a boat. That's what yeah. it feels like to yeah. me. Yeah. It's just, it's only even. Yeah. Okay, we should put our fingers to the edge of the table. Yeah. You're right, okay. Carl. Do you yeah. want to sit out from no, the No, no, I want to see what's going to do. You're right. Yeah, well, David will probably tell me off. You're right, Derek. Yeah, yeah. I'm okay. Yeah. You're right, Kath. Mm -hmm. Put your fingers on the edge of the table. Okay. 
If there is anybody here, any spirit person now, please can you try and lift this table off the floor? Please can you touch one of us? Can you do something to let us know that you're here in the room now? Someone's stomach. No, that's Derek. Where is it? Why? Who are you? Thomas. 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 Thomas? What's your surname? What's your surname, Thomas? What year is it? Seven, twelve, five, seventeen oh five. What's your surname, Thomas? Correct. What's your surname? Your chest hurts? Oh, it's like thunder. Like thunder. I'm in pain. I'm, you want to know? And I'm in pain. And you're not concerned about my pain. Who is your to doctor? Know? Is somebody my helping pain. you with the pain? Who is your doctor? What does your doctor say that's wrong with you? What is your condition? I, I've got blocked. I've blocked tubes. My heart. What is your address here? What, what, is, what is your address here? What's the name of the street here? Thomas? We're trying to verify these facts so we know it's definitely you. I'm okay. Okay. I'm okay. Thank you. I'm okay. You alright, Derek? I'm okay, Yvy. I'm okay. Yeah. You know who it was? Took you over? No. 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 Did he speak? Yes. Yeah, he spoke. I know my my chest and my leg I felt as if it was on fire. Totally on fire. Why am I smelling smoke? And it's burning. There's fire. It's all round. A great fire. They didn't like the fire. The spirit people, the fire couldn't harm them, but they didn't want the fire. They were trying to put the fire out. Can you ask them when it was? When did the fire happen? When was the fire? When? One, nine, nine, five. 1995. He was so upset. He was screaming to everyone, don't let the fire burn to my staircase. What's happening now? Are you, are you sensing something? Sensing somebody? What are you doing? What do you do? We're here to this my home. This is who invited you. 
We've come here I to find out about you and about others here. I've got to think this. I've got to think this over. I've got to think it over. Thomas, what do you mean? Invading? Coming in? Thomas, Not invited? This is a lovely house. How do what, we? What do you do, Thomas? What do you do? This is my home and my family's home. And you come here. You come here. Here. Right here, who I is, say. Who is here? In, who is in your family, Thomas? Do you have a big family? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Who's in your oh, family? Oh, yes. Children? William. William? William. He's a dear, dear boy. Do you have a wife? Do you have a wife, Thomas? Do you mind me asking? Why would you want this knowledge? My wife? I'm interested. Uh, My wife? A lovely home, and I My want to know more about you, Thomas. My wife? There's no need to shout at me. I, I do apologise. I'd like to know about you and about your wife, your family. Why should I tell you anything? Why? Maybe. Oh, yes, of course. I should. Should I? Mm. Yes. It would be nice. It would be a polite mm. thing to do. Mm. Who is your wife? What's her name? Kieran. That's Did right. you say Kieran? That's me, yes. Mm. Strange name. It's an Irish name. Well, I'm non Irish, so. Yeah, I know, me. you're forgive English, me. Thomas. Oh, you yeah. are English, oh, yes, yeah. of course. Oh, yes. Tell me about your wife and your family, your wife's name, your children's names. What do you do? What is your occupation, Thomas? Well, Madame said, gentry, I suppose. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm when did you pass away, Thomas? Just for, it's just bizarre. Everybody's just suddenly felt really dizzy and feels really, really sick. I know that Derek is okay now. Is he feeling all right, Derek? Okay, okay, okay yeah. um, How is everybody feeling? How are you feeling? I feel like I'm on the verge of vomiting. Really? Really. John, do you want to give that, <laughs> give that camera to somebody? Oh, <laughs> Whoa! It's really quite frightening when you have a quite a quiet night and then all of a sudden you see your friends and colleagues falling to the floor. And he actually dropped the camera because he'd passed out. He had actually gone. I was, I was watching him in kind of horror when I just watched him go completely limp. You alright, Carl? Yeah, I'm good. Alright. Jo John Dibley has just collapsed. He's just completely fainted and had to be carried out. Um, we're all feeling really sick. John, are you alright? Yeah, I'm sitting down so I'm alright. Do you feel like you're going to faint? You, okay, John. Do you want yeah. to leave the room? No, I'll stay here. John, there's fresh air just out there. Do you, want to, do you want to? He's going to go. All right, two seconds. John. Mm. Let's take this off her. Kathy, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Are you all right, though? Yeah. I'm a bit sick. I'm a bit sick. I don't feel the brains at all. Oh, my God. Just you're all right. Two seconds. Oh, they have been here all day, that's the point. Oh, 
We're sorry, we apologise for the poor sound, but obviously our sound man and our, and our cameraman have, have fainted. But you say you smell sick? I, I smelled yeah. sick while Lou was there, just before John yeah. fell over. Yeah. Most important thing, you know, it's How the bizarre. Yeah. I can't smell anything. I have to say, I'm sh I feel shaky and I, and I feel a little bit... Ugh, but, I, but I, if you stand here, you feel like you're going to fall off. If you stand here, the room is sloping. Yeah. And I said but before, what's, it doesn't matter, really it feels like right you're on a ship. Yeah. It does. It really is a real slant. Yeah. Even though it's standing. Yeah. Are you all right, John? Yeah, I'm okay. I just feel. I feel really. I, I want to be in here, but I've just got no energy. I've got no energy at all. I feel like, a, like there's no oxygen in here. Okay. Um, so you suppose you want to be in here, but you don't want to work. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to carry on? Do you want to carry on? Yeah. John, do you want to be? I don't think you should yeah, be. Yeah, John. No, I want to. I want it. You want to? I'd like to. I'd like to give it a go. If I feel okay. bad, I'll tell you, and I, you know, I'll, I'll leave. Okay. All right. Put your hands on you. Put your hands on you. Okay. If there is anybody here, any spirit person amongst us that's making us feel, what was that flash? That's a torch. Were you flashed? See, we just turned the torch on. God, that was really. Not did you not see? I saw it. Yeah, yeah, I saw it. That was really. I had my eyes closed, and there was a. F yeah, I saw it. Something weird. God, did you see it? I did, but the difficulty is because it came from over there, it's difficult to tell if it was from outside, perhaps. Well, it's quite it's strong, racing. I'm off. You're off. Yeah, yeah. it's weird. Okay. On the outskirts of the city is a derelict building that was once hailed a refuge for the mentally and physically ill. Now its corridors are said to echo with the screams of past patients. A lady wearing a black cape has been seen wandering between the wards. Sinister presences have often been felt and dogs have been heard howling in the dead of night. All rooms are now dilapidated and ruined, but many former staff tell of staggering supernatural events. But who are these spirits? Why are they unwilling to vacate the site? And is their objective terror and malevolence or kindness and benevolence? This place is so haunted that the owners have asked us to refer to it only as the asylum. Well, we're just starting our slow walk down the, um, the main hallway. It is so dark in here. We've just got a, a, a few torches. It's really quite grim. All the time we've got to listen out for anything, any noises or anything. Are you all right, Derek? Yeah, I'm OK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. So is anything sort of coming through as you're walking down here now? You talked about this blockage or... Yes. What, as we're walking along now, what seems to be coming from the fabric here, again, it's the residual energy. There's a feeling of torment here. Mm. And this torment, I, I feel, is, um, has been um, displayed um, in people. In people that have been here, mm -hmm. stayed here, resided here and also a great I, you know it's like I'm getting this distortion of um, not clarity of my mind it seems as if I'm you know I get childlike um, atmosphere as well but not children I get this like feeling of um, you know when a person is uh, it's like the feelings of energy from an adult but being very um, childlike and being um, wanting to play and be very, um... Do you know when you were just talking Mischievous. Before, <gasps> oh, that was somebody here? Yes. Uh, I, when we were just walking down, I didn't like to say anything because it was, um, you were just talking, but yeah. I did hear, I don't know if anybody called out, but there was a... <clears throat> there's a lot of people, mm. or there's been a lot of people here, and uh, they were, um, some of them, uh, I suppose the way they were thinking they didn't mind being here others used to rant and rave and, and get upset and i get all those mixed emotions and feelings in this atmosphere what were they here for what, what i don't know I, 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 I i'm checking now right. but it's like as if i feel as if and you know you know what i get as well i get this like anger displayed and it's like as if this one person maybe more than one and um, it's like physically thrown against a wall and just you know jammed against a wall and then suddenly I, I don't know it's like um to me it's like 
it's some kind of a hospital or something because it, it's like I get sedated and I'm against the wall and they're just pulling this woman along and it's a woman they're doing that to. Sorry. Right. Yeah, sorry. Sorry. So there's men, there's men and women that have been here and, you know, they've just been... Some of them were angry, so the angriness is still in this atmosphere. It hasn't budged. We've got protection, haven't we, Derek? Absolutely. Okay. Right, we're going to um, start calling out. If anybody, we've already been doing a little bit of it in the, in the break, but if anybody in the circle or around us feels anything at all, at all, even the silliest oh, thing. Oh, God, there's a, Ivy. Yeah. There's a deranged mind close by here. There's fear. There's fear that comes from his energies. Fear of people. He's not wanting those... There's two that he fears. There's two men that he fears that are coming to him. And he's not... He's planning in his mind to stop them from giving him those needles. And he's got anger. It's like as if he wants to kill them. It's... His mind, he wants to take their lives, giving them those needles. And also, it's like he fears the wires. He fears wires. He Are fears right, electricity. Sorry, What's the matter? I'm getting help. Get, uh, What's the matter? You know, okay. Just, uh, yeah. What's, What's the matter? matter? No. <gasps> <gasps> You're gone. You're gone. You're gone. Yeah. Everything kind of went muggy. It went as though you put, if you put your hands over your ears, you just, just about hear a murmur. And I thought I'm going to leave the, the circle because it was too early um, for anything to happen. Um, so I left the circle, and the next thing I know, uh, I'm being carried out by Andy. The moment I saw a car collapse, obviously I was absolutely terrified because. I love him to bits, and seeing your husband on the floor, completely out of it, it was it was really frightening. What do you okay. think, Kieran? You're all right, Andy. Well, I noticed I was looking at Carl, I was also looking okay. at Andy as well, because I could see on a thermal image of him. His eyes were just opening and closing. I just want to check that he's all right, that's all. I know he's with Andy, I know he. That's all right. <gasps> just the door. How's... Oh, gosh. Let us know you're around. Turn all your torches off. Let us know that you're around. Give us some sort of sign. Let us know that you're here. Can you move something in this room? Can you tap on the window? Can you move something? Come on, give us some sort of sign. Let us know that you're here. <gasps> Did you hear that? Did you not hear that? No, just come up. What's what, what did you not what did hear? You hear it? A man no, screaming. Just... Did you not hear it? I, I heard. A... I heard something. I don't know if it was a scream. Well, it was like a roar. Something. Yeah. Right. Oh, okay. So you did. If you know. heard it, then we've definitely got it. Then we must. It, have, it, we'd hope it we'd have helpful. it. It was helpful. It was. To me, it was more like a a, a, a rush of air, a breath. Yeah. That See, that's what I thought I heard. What? Like a. <gasps> That's what I thought. Yeah. Rather than a scream. Yeah. It was something anyway. It was like a, it was a man. It felt. It sounded to me like a man, but it didn't sound like it. sounded like it came from out here. I thought maybe Carl had fallen down again, or how is anybody Carl? out there? Is he all right? Yeah, he's did anybody out there hear it in the corridor? Didn't anybody out here? You heard nothing out here, did no, you? No, no. <sighs> okay. Now, what we've done is we've left Kath uh, on her own, poor thing, yeah. downstairs. We're coming upstairs just to let you know that Carl is absolutely fine. He's, he's back with the investigative group, and we'll have a chat to him in a little bit. Um, also, we've got our audience members that have, have joined us, and we'll meet up with them in a, in a second. Derek, oh, my God. Yes. OK. Oh. oh it's just Sweet. grim beyond belief. Yeah. OK. Yeah. Oh, look, there's the, where the old Lou used to be, look. Mm -hmm. In there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. That's nice, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Is everybody else all right down there? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, sure? Yeah, we're OK. It's, it's very creepy down 
I know. Carl, are you all right? You're behind us. How are you feeling now? Uh, I feel fine, thanks very much. Oh, God. Oh, it's me. I just heard the noise of the, the door. What's in there? If the energies of the two spirit males that I feel are, are actually watching and listening to us, and also the woman, the lady, the woman spirit, please, we can help you. Come forward, come close to us in this atmosphere. Let us feel your presence. Come close, touch one of us. Make a noise. Do something, and we can help you. We can help you out of your misery. For whatever reason, you're still here. We can help you to move on. Melissa. Get the name, Melissa. 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 Melissa, please, if that is your right name, my guide's giving me your name, Melissa. Will you please do something close to us now to confirm that we've got your name correct? Make a noise. Do something. Step forward. She's not very old. When she, oh, God. How old is she? Oh, she, you know, when she left her physical body, she was only in her 30s. I feel 28, 29. She's a young woman. How did she die? I feel they um, were doing something with treatment. Mm -hmm. It wasn't murder. And um, it went wrong. It went wrong. What was that? What's the matter? A what? It came from the stairs. Yeah. A bang on the stairs. Yeah, I, I heard a bang on the stairs. Yeah, you heard a bang. Yeah, yeah. It's like something was thrown or something. Really? Yeah, it's like something like that. Melissa? Was that you? If it was, can you do a, a similar noise, please? Did, Did you hear a bump? I just heard a real thud there. Yeah, I heard the thud as well. OK. Melissa, can you do that again? If that's you, you will prove to us that you are close by. Just another simple noise. Come on, dear, we can help you. We're not here to ridicule you. We, we understand you. That was another <gasps> bump. <gasps> In there. It came from in there? Yes. It's a bit weird. OK. What's the matter? You all right, Sal? Sorry. You all right? Yeah. Kathy, you OK? Yeah, I'm fine. What did you hear, Sally? It was like someone threw a brick... Did you hear it? It was yeah. like someone threw a brick through the window. You're kidding? No. I also feel as if there's um, a place in this building, whatever it is, that um, there would be probably greater disturbance. And I don't know anything about this building before I come here. But I feel as if, you know, when people um, either suddenly pass away mm -hmm. or, you know, in other words, they die, mm -hmm. they are taken normally first place to a place of rest, mm -hmm. uh, like... Um, a morgue, mm -hmm. a building, mm -hmm. because I feel as if the energies of Melissa um, would be drawn to an area like that. Yeah. And it's like as if that's her last thoughts. I feel as if um, she come out of her physical body, she's looking at the physical remains um, lying there in like a, I, the only way I can put it, like a morgue, and she's very angry over that. She's angry of the way she was looking at herself, the way they left her. Um, but I feel her thoughts are going to this area. She's got right. this terrible, you know, feeling about it. Well, that's great because you've picked up quite a lot of, of information about this, Melissa. Mm -hmm. And what we're going to do is going to do a Ouija board now, because then maybe we can maybe uh, get, some, get more some more activity going. Please, can you move the glass as a sign of yes? Please, if there is anybody here, please move the glass. Please, 
please, we don't mean you any harm, please talk to us. If you're with us now, please spell out your first name. What's that? I don't know, I can't see. G. 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 Is it a G now? Yes. Okay. Can you see the letters, John? Yes. Okay. Oh, <gasps> Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. I don't know. Okay. So bad. Okay. 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 Ready, Carl? Carl, you all right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, that was quite no. sudden, wasn't it? The good thing is, is if we've got the, the, the web, I don't know if the webcam's wide, but it should be able to catch any, you know, mm. any yeah. movement. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you ready? Everyone's yeah. got their feet one underneath hand, their chairs yeah. or on the table. Yeah. Yeah. I've got mine by the seat. Okay. Oh. If that was you that moved the table, please, can you do something else for us? What does that say? P. P? P. 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 Please carry on. Spell out a word. G. What? G. P. G. P. What's G. P. Where was it? G. P. Okay. Carry on. What's the G. P. name? Is that what it did? I don't know. I'm just. I'm just. I'm just trying to make sense of it. G. P. Please carry on. Spelling out something, please, if you can. What's that? Can you spell? Can you spell? Can you spell a word? Say yes or no. Can you spell a word? What does it say? No. No. Okay. All right. Well, we'll just have to forget the letters then. Mm -hmm. okay. I know, but we can just use the glasses, yes or no. Do you want to do that? Yeah? Okay. Was it you who moved the table? Please move the glass as a sign of yes. What's that? What's the yes? Yeah. Is it yeah? Okay. Can you move the table again for us, please? Can you move the table again for us, please? Is that no? Goodbye. Goodbye. Come on. Come on. Keep going. Come on. That's the dog handler. That's the dog handler. They have a dog handler outside, um, and there's, as far as we know, there's nobody in the grounds at all. It's all blocked off. By the windows, we could hear a dog really, really, as if he was snarling and barking and what have you. And we actually found out this was the dog that was on site with us, with his handler, who apparently had sensed something going past him, and he went after this uh, particular whether it be physical person, whether it be a spirit person, the dog was alarmed. Are you female? Are you a woman? What does that say? G Can't G see. G. 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 Okay. And again, please. What's that? Uh, P. P. Maybe there are initials. Could be. Yeah. So it's a woman. Could be. Could be yeah. Can you try and keep your Could knees together as well? Mm -hmm. as Were you a GP? doctor? I'll ask you for asking me. Yeah. Were you a doctor? What's that? Yeah. No. Are they initials? Okay. Did you work here? Yes. No. 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 Are they your initials? Okay. Were you treated here? Were you a patient? God, that's really. Oh. Strong, yeah. Yeah. Are they are they your initials? Yes. Okay. Yeah, he's just said that the uh, the dog just went ballistic as though somebody was standing next to it, oh. and uh, the dog dragged the handler to this area. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Let's okay. keep going. Come on. Mm -hmm. All right. Can you move the table for us again, please? What's that say? G. Just to, keeps on going back to the G. And again, please. No, that's not. That's gone to something else. Yeah. Go, 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 go. go. Okay. Okay. No, we won't go. We will not go. Please do something else for us now. 
Is that so? Q. He's in the middle of the yeah. Q. Yeah. Not getting any sense of whatsoever. Is there, is there more than one of you here? Please move the glass if there's more than one of you here. Ooh, oh my god. Oh, oh. <gasps> that was bizarre. It was like twisting. Swivel, didn't yeah. Can you can you move this table again like you did before? Move the table. Move the table for us, please. If there's more than one of you, move the table. Lift it off the floor if you can, please. Come on, help us. Can you understand me? Move the table. Move the table for us. Move the table. Okay. Mm -hmm. What do you suggest we do, guys? Kieran? This time we're not getting any information from this. No. No. Because try and copy the text somebody else if there's more than one spirit here. Yeah. Sure. Mm -hmm. Good idea. Yeah. Go on, Carl, you take it. Well, I'm just Go on. Lift your arm off yeah. the table. If, if the spirit has been moving this glass, we can't spell or read. If you just step aside, let somebody else in. We don't mean that disrespectfully, but we're trying to find information about you. Please. Let somebody else in. Are you the same spirit? <gasps> no. Okay. So it's a different, different person. Mm -hmm. Are you, are you female? On its own, what with my it? one, with my finger, that moved on its own. The yeah, the glass did. I've never had that happen to me before. John, did you get that? Not, not, not like that. It was very difficult to know. There was maybe your finger was in front of it, but I don't know. If it's that it again. moved. It moved from there to there on its own, with my finger on it. Was it powerful? Was it quite? Yeah, powerful? it was. Did you feel strengthened. Yeah. Yeah. Well then, that's what I can't understand and I find so frustrating. It moved the table, didn't it? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Move the basket to move the table. Come on. Come on. If you can't spell your name, or well, it's a bit difficult, can you give us your initials? Motion. And we could also be taken on through the nature of the, the mentality of some of these spirits. Still retain and they might not have clarity of mind. And so they're still, you know, being the way they were. Uh, if they had mental problems, it could be. I mean, we haven't had this before, have we? No. F. Can't spell. Between F and a G. In the grounds of the asylum is tonight's most feared location, the morgue. Nestling amongst a patch of woodland, it appears harmless and safe, but inside, it's entirely different. All staff were said to be hesitant to enter this building by day, but by night, it becomes so much more horrific. Many staff are said to have reported petrifying experiences, including blood-curdling screams, unexplained shadows, whining and moaning, and uncontrollable sobbing. What lies within? Okay, we're outside um, what I consider to be one of the most frightening places. It is indeed the morgue. Now, when we were doing the Ouija board, we, were, um, we actually heard a dog barking. It's actually our, our dog handler, our security here, which is Mark, and he has Max, um, uh, the dog, with him. Now, what we're going to do is we're actually going to send Mark and Max, the dog, into the morgue first, because he's obviously quite a sensitive dog, and apparently Mark, he was actually barking at, at nothing. So we're going to see if, if Max can actually pick anything up in here before we go in. So do you want to go and have a, have a look, OK?
get a clear way in case he needs to come out. Is he all right, Mark? Yeah, fine, fine. Face with with the dog, and all you can see are these sort of gnashing fangs, these these sort of wild eyes, and he was really straining. His hackles were up, and he wanted to get to me. I mean, he was absolutely petrified. He was petrified, and I was out of there. It was so frightening. What's he barking at, Mark? Can I, can I come in? Yeah. I'll just come in on my own. What's he barking at? He's just barking at the wall. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I spoke to him, but he's barking. All right, all right. That's 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 the bridge. That's where the that's where bodies would have been in there. Okay. I'll bring him out. Bring him out. Should we just get out of the way? We're going to get out of the way first. Everybody, out of the way. It's not happy in there. Oh my God, we've done it. Thank you very much, Mark. Thank you. Is that is that normal for him to behave like that? No. no. He, he, he wanted to get out of there. It was me holding him that he, he just he just wanted to get out. He just wanted to get out. Yeah, and he doesn't run away from anything. Okay. Thank you very much, Mark, and thank you, Max. I won't go and pat you. Okay. Right. Let's go inside this morgue. Are you ready, Derek? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Come on then. Uh, do you want to go in with the camera first, or yeah. do you want us to go in first? Yeah, I'll hop in. I am absolutely petrified. I've never been in a morgue ever in my life. Have Gonna you be ever? Okay. Have you? No, this is a first for me. Right, I'm holding okay. on to you right, for dear okay. life. Come on then. Okay. Okay. Oh, I just got there. <gasps> oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Do you want to go in there? Let's go in. Yeah. Do you want to come in with me? Okay. Come on then. I'm coming. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no, I don't like it. I don't okay. like it. Do you want to come out? There's it's a horrible slightly... smell in here. Yeah. Oh. Melissa Cundle. Is that the name, Sam? That's a name. Melissa Cundle. Melissa Cundle. She hasn't moved on. She is one of a few of them here. What year oh. was it? Is that a, can you give me a year, please, Sam? With this soul. There's a horrible taste in your mouth. It's horrible, it's shit, isn't it? Yeah. That's disgusting. Young woman, I'm getting a mental picture of her. A young woman with dark hair. Um, she had um, quite a bit of weight, um, and she most definitely had um, a mental problem. Big men. You see what she, she, right up to the end, she said, she was screaming at them. She is not a lunatic. She is not a lunatic. And she could hear the voices, and the voices were telling her the truth. And the doctors were not. And they treated her. They'd... She knew it wasn't right what actually happened to her. And she's walking around with that, that, oh, that hatred of um, doctors. And not just doctors, but the people. There were two men. Who were her doctors? Really she treated tell... her. She told okay? you who her doctors were. Well, give me that name, does stink, son. doesn't it? Oh, I feel yeah. like gagging. You're right. There's no yeah. ventilation oh. in here at all. <sighs> oh. That's better. Just open the door and feel like I'm going to be sick. Yeah. I don't want to be sick over you. Joan, is this it? This is the room here. There's nothing that opens up in here. Oh, what's that? That's just the other door. The other door. There's nothing that opens up in here. Oh, I see. Okay. 
Are there any spirit people here with us now? If there is, please can you make a noise? Was that someone's stomach or was that the dog? The dog's not around. The dog's not around. I thought I heard a groan then. Well, I, it sounded to me like, like someone's stomach. stomach. Yeah. It wasn't anybody's stomach. Please, if you can hear my voice, please give us some sort of sign. Let us know that you're around us now. If this is your last resting place, then please talk to us. Melissa, if you can hear my voice, or indeed anybody else, please give us some sort of sign that you are around us. When we were at Elstree, the live there, um, there was a place called the Incinerator, and it was a very, very small room. And the in group of investigators that, that were in there caught an awful lot of activity, so we've put the same group of people into the moor. We've closed the doors, and then we are actually outside here. We've, we've formed a circle, and we're going to start calling out and see if anything happens either inside the morgue or outside the morgue. We'll try for a short period of time. If nothing happens, then we'll move on. So we'll start calling out. Okay. Do you want me to call out, or do you want to call out, Derek? Um, can I call out just this? You, yeah, absolutely. Thing? Okay. I, I think we're on the strand with something here. Um, <coughs> Melissa? Melissa Cullen? We do know of your name now. And we know how you left the physical body. If you've come into this place where your physical remains, your body was placed, please step back in here, come close to us. We can help you. We can help you go into the light so you're not walking around these grounds which really basically is not the place for you. You need to go into the light but we can help you. Please step forward close to the circle. Show yourself. Let's hear you walking around us. Let's feel those psychosis. <laughs> Did you feel that? <laughs> You're right. What happened? Well, sorry, I don't even I... know what it was. What? I thought something touched me on my shoulder. I felt something hit me. What's that smell? It's really really bad smell. Last time we were here, you moved the table. We now have a different table. Please, can you move this table? Please. It is moving. Okay. But you know the way. Yeah. All our fingers are really lightly on there. Make yes. sure your thumbs yes. are not underneath the table. Yeah. Keep your feet well away from the legs as well, if you can. Please, if there is somebody amongst us now, please use our energies to move this table in a violent manner. Please push this table if you can, or lift it off the floor. Please, if, if there's anybody here at all, walk amongst us. Touch somebody here. Move the table if you can. It's spinning. Move the table. Thank you. Thank you. Stop the table, please. Please move the table as a sign of yes. Are you a man? Are you a woman? Move the table as a sign of yes, please, if you are a woman. Stop the table. Is there more than one of you here? Please move the table as a sign of yes. Please move the table as a sign of yes if there is more than one of you here. Good idea. Did you did you lie in this ward? Did you have a bed in here? Push oh. the table. Oh. Tipped. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
what, what, what was Just it? Just tip the whole thing. So well, this, was this, uh, this is, oh, this is his bed. Look, look, the lamp would have been there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All yeah. right. Did you die in this bed? Okay. Good, okay. good question, good question. Did you need, do you need our help? Do you need our help? Oh. Oh. Okay, okay. Are you trapped here? Are you here all the time? Okay. If you, can you see me? Can you see us now? Okay. Push the table to where you're standing. Are you standing amongst us? Take the table to where you're standing. Can you do something for us? Can you do something else to show us that you're here? Can you do something else? Sam's telling me it's a man called Ernest. Ernest. Good. Can you give me a surname, Sam? Baines. Ernest Baines. Okay. Baines. It is Baines. My guide's always, yeah, always yeah. close by. What's up, Rachel? It's got really low pain in my leg. Have you? I've got a really low pain. My left leg. Is that a heart attack? Well, maybe. <gasps> yeah. Did you die of a heart attack? Did you? How much more? This is it the did. most bizarre. No. He sounds like this man had a stroke. He had a stroke. Okay. Move the table if you had a stroke. What was that bang? <gasps> what was that banging? Two loud bangs, did you hear that? From which direction? Yeah. Over there. Yeah, did you hear it, Andy? Double check. Um, well, there's nothing to be honest. I'll just check. Alright. Kieran, yes. what do you think to this? This is why what we want to know now is we want to get more information from this person. And if it starts tipping, mm -hmm. then just go with it. Don't let it go. Keep your hands right. on contact with it because okay. we want it to lift. Mm -hmm. right. That's what we like to have. Alright. Mm -hmm. Please, if you can hear my voice, can you lift this table? Lift this table off the floor. Try and lift the table, please. Please lift the table off the floor if you can. Please, or tip it. Do anything. Please help us. Did you suffer with pains down your left arm? Oh my God. Wait. Okay, 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 okay. Please, can you lift the table off the floor for us, please, sir? Lift the table off the floor. Can you? Please, lift the oh, table. Oh, oh, lift, oh, oh my God. Oh, lift it. Lift it off the floor, please. On, Thank then. you. A bit more. Please lift the table. Come on. Please, this is fantastic. Do some more for us. Lift the table off the floor. Come on. Lift it. You nearly did it then. Do it again for us, please. Lift it off the floor. Please tip the table or lift it off the floor. Can you do that for us? Where are you standing now? Where are you standing now? Whoa! Within the bustling city centre is a place so haunted that some staff refuse to come here alone. Reports of being violently pushed downstairs are commonplace. Poltergeist activity is said to be rife, and some say an extremely negative energy lurks in the shadows. Built in the early 1900s, the Albert Hall Methodist Church was said to hold the largest congregation in the world. When the church closed in the early 70s, the paranormal activity was said to have started, then steadily increased. What or who is responsible? Why do they wish to terrorise people? And what lurks in the dark recesses of every corner? Voted by many of you as one of our most scariest places, I had to bring you back to the Albert Hall Brannigans. So, do you just want to get a feel for, yes, for this particular area? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's absolutely stunning, isn't it? Mm. I mean, it says, even in the dark, I mean, what we can see is beautiful. However, that beauty um, uh, hides um, feelings that are still uh, very apparent in the ether. Right. Um, and also the feelings, the energies that are coming from the residual 
uh, energies, the floors and what have you. And it's, it's basically, I, I'd no sooner moved in here and uh, although it was only mental, it wasn't given to me voice-wise. It was great, great anger. Look what I'm getting now, this is, oh, this is amazing. I know this again didn't come last time because it would be a, uh, not a memory, but it would be, and it's like as if I'm hearing a very, very large crowd of people. And it's like, suddenly it seems to be cheering, cheering, and then suddenly it changed from the cheering to like screams. And it's like as if people were, I don't know, it's like as if they were being attacked or they were being, it's like people falling down. And whether they were trampled, they were, people were knocking them down. And that feeling wasn't here last time. When, you, when you're talking about this sort of slaying or, or killing or you, that you've just described, what time period would you put that at? Well, you know, on your voice vibration, ask me that question. I don't feel, you know, it was like hundreds of years ago. I feel um, it's probably within a, a period of time of, um, you know, well, 100, 150 years, something like that. And you're that. talking about whilst this building was, was here? I feel possibly that the building was here right. when this actually took place. Um, I, I do know there were, there were a number of lives lost and I feel a lot of souls that were deeply, badly injured um, that, well, I would say just barely survived. And, and you're saying these people were murdered? I feel like they were, I don't know where I can put it, it was either slain, trampled on. It's like they're all screaming and it's as if they're getting, uh, you know, weight on top of the bodies in some way. That, uh, uh, to me, mm -hmm. it reminds me of like a massacre. Well, oh, this is horrible. I don't remember coming in here last time, do you? I don't think we did. I don't think we did, actually. I'm Whoa. holding on to you watch, now. Watch, watch your head here, Evie, now. I know, but I'm Cameron. holding on to you now. Okay. God, it's suddenly very dark. You're all right. Oh, yeah, you know yeah, what? Yeah. What? Or oh, where? The there's someone to here. Right. I don't know. To my right, I feel like... There's a spirit man. There's right. a man. There's a man by you, John, OK? A spirit man. Can you feel him? Yeah, 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 yeah. OK, he's there. His energy's there. Who are you? Who are you? Ask him. Ask him his name. Ask his name, Stan. Reverend, another reverend. There's another reverend. There's another reverend. Is he good? Re or? Is he? Is he? Is he? Is he a positive soul? He is. He's not here uh, for a little intent. Okay, Reverend Collier. Reverend Collier. Okay. okay. So I've got I've got a young child as well. Like as if the child is circling us. It's a girl child circling us, coming all around us. It's like as if, you know, we've got this energy and our speed as well with this child. OK. I feel she could be grounded as well, not in visitation. Do you want to call out? Yes, yeah, OK. Mm -hmm. I'm sure we're going to get a response. We've got that clergyman here and this girl child. For the... Reverend... OK, I'll mention his name. Reverend Collier, or the little girl that's up here in this roof space, please, we're here with total and utter respect. And I'm sure you good sir, you know this, you can feel it from our hearts and you can take it from our minds. We're not here to disturb or do any wrong. But please, sir, can you give us, um, for our hearing or even for our sight, to, um, you know, recognise that you 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 followed us up here. I know you followed us. Give us a noise. Do you, do you hear that? What was that? It sounded like a rolling uh, sound, didn't it? It's right by you, John. Okay, there's a rolling oh, sound here, wasn't it? Yeah. Could it have been the cable or no, the cable's coming in? There. It's there. Okay. Oh, could, oh all right, you're right. Nothing, 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 nothing. nothing. nothing what? Really, like... You got the adrenaline going. Yeah, it's the adrenaline, and I know that there's. That's the way out, and it's a narrow corridor, and I know that this is a dead end, and it is boiling in here, and oh. I'm pretty scared. Of okay, that was. That corner? It, it sounded like as if it was to me, to my ears, like a, a, maybe a group of stones yeah, rolling. That's what I thought. Is that it what was. you thought? Yeah, it was? I did. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, I'm just, we were talking. Yeah, go on, go on, keep asking her. Reverend, if that was kind, if that was a kind, kindly gesture, I'm sorry to repeat myself, but please. Please, can you do something likewise again in this room? Even a little girl, please come and tug on our clothes. Let us know that you're around us. Let some of the crew come and touch the crew. 
We know you're not here to harm. You're only a little girl. She seems to have come with the Reverend. Please, knock on the ceiling. Do something audible again. Brush past us. What's her name? I haven't got a neck. What was that again? Oh, was that you? That was a noise no, again no, here. No, it wasn't me. Oh, that, that, that was a proper... No, that was... That was, was a proper, that? like, somebody standing there going... Yeah. Like that. It was. And it, was, it happened there. Did you hear it, John? I did. I thought there was... It was is there someone standing here? Oh, there's now, but you... That's me, yeah. You weren't standing there before, were you? No, I wasn't. I was behind Derek. There's some debris down there. I don't know if that was... No, I don't, I don't know, know whether... Maybe, maybe it's me. Maybe I'm not that. I didn't think... No, that you was. didn't. You didn't. It was a proper... like that. For hundreds of years, this clock tower must have dominated the Albert Hall and its congregation. Today, the clock and its bell are gone, but those brave enough to climb the steel ladder will tell of the tower's eerie presence, of a multitude of chilling noises, and some say they feel overwhelmed by a sense of foreboding. What or who is responsible? Are they intent on scaring us away? Will they welcome our return? Okay. What's the matter? Well, in here, just as, go in there, David, see what you're feeling. Because as I've just come into here... What's the matter? ..that it has been... He has been here, in this area. Although I said I couldn't pick up anything out there, he's been in this area in maybe the last couple of hours. He's covering himself up, he's doing a hide-and-seek type thing, and Godfrey Parks is around this area right now. David, how are you feeling? I, I'm absolutely alive with with energy. Uh, there's definitely something or someone in here. In there now. Yeah. When, when you come in here, you know, my whole skin, all my skin is going. It's, it's not nice area, is it? His energy is very in this area. I feel aggressive. It feels aggressive to me. Aggressive in so much that a you're feeling his aggression and b the aggression of you're not wanted. You. Right. So you're picking up a, ma a male's present as well? Right, Eric. Yeah, yeah. Right. Hello. Carol, I, honestly, I didn't touch her. Oh, oh. 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 you're all right. She's all right. Oh, yeah, it's all right. Careful. Close enough. Who's the only person close enough to you? I'm, I'm, no, I didn't. I'm sorry. I didn't touch you. That wasn't me, Carl. You've got to also. I'm not in a habit of touching yeah. people. Yeah. Well, I'm sure, you, I'm sure you wouldn't, Stuart, but you know, we're up here. We're asking out. Yeah. And if this man, this energy is here, he's capable of doing these things. We've got to accept and understand that. It's horrible, I know. Parks, yeah. Do you feel that, David, as well? I can't, I can't, I, I can't get his name, but I do know he's, he's not particular. And what Derek said about him, and he's, he's perfectly capable of shoving, but... So do you think he's shoved me and me and Carl? He's perfectly he capable probable, of it. Yes. Basically, what's happening now is we've, uh, we're doing a full split. Uh, Stuart and I have uh, got a bit of an issue going on up here. We are, uh, we're staying up here in the, uh, in the bell tower, um, or the clock tower. Uh, Yvette and everyone else uh, with David Wells uh, and Kieran uh, are going downstairs to another uh, area and they're going to split down there. So we've got two, uh, two other uh, locations going on as well as this. Um, 
I've got a problem with, uh, I, I'm sure Stuart pushed me, not Stuart pushed me, but something, Stuart's hands pushed me. So we decided to stop here together and see if anything else happens, and hopefully you on the webcams will be able to see that. It's very dusty. <coughs> Does it seem... We've not been up here, have we? Oh, did you just do... Did you, just, you just went, hmm. No, no, I didn't do that. Oh, my God. Can you hear me? No. Something just went mm, in my ear. It wasn't me. It wasn't Yvette, me. Can you hear me? Oh, somebody spoke. Yes, yes, sweetheart. Um, we've, we've had uh, two quite major things up here. We've um, had a massive noise. Uh, we were literally, we were nowhere near it. It was from the other side of where the clock used to be. Um, and we've both just seen a face literally pressed into the glass on the other side. And we both ran and there's nothing there. Is that? Oh my God! I, I've just, I've, we're just coming up the stairs into the projection room, and I've just heard a hmm in my left ear. Yeah, this is this is getting quite heavy up here. I have to admit. I mean, we've, we've heard a couple of bangs as well. We're nowhere near it. It's just kind, of, kind of all over the place. Do you feel anything in here? I feel. I have to say, the whole building is coming alive for me, and there's one in. Whoa! Oh! 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 What was it, John? Oh, that was scary. What? Oh, um, something brushed past my, my leg. What something did it feel like? Um, it, felt, it felt like a feather. It felt like a feather tickling my, the side of my leg. Oh. Children playing. Children? Is that, that what you think that, it is? That kind of thing sounds like kids playing. It's, that, that wouldn't have been a cable. I mean, I'd feel that if that was a cable, but... OK, it wasn't. It felt like a feather. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I'm on edge now. <laughs> My heart beats. So, are we all, John? OK. <laughs> so you're picking up the, the, these these two children. Are they following us around? That's not who I'm picking up. Who are you picking I'm up? I'm picking up a male. Cold blast of air right down here. Coming from here or...? Here. Across my arm. Yeah, I'd rather you stand here than me, to be honest. I'll turn around to, with my back. Are so you all right? You're really freaked out, aren't you? I mean, I'm yeah. just a cold blast of air right across my arm. But it, it, it's gone now. Oh, yeah, I know. Can you feel it? I'm just boiling. It just, my, my right arm was, 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 was colder. OK. OK. Um, can, uh, Derek, can you hear me? Can the group with Derek hear me? They can't. They can't hear us, OK. They can't hear us, but I, I presume that I hope something's happening with them down there. Um, the walkie-talkie isn't working. I don't know why. Uh, it just doesn't working. I'm pressing it. I don't know if you can see. But it's not working, OK? So we've lost contact. Carl, can you hear me? Uh, yeah, I've got you. I've got you loud and clear. Ah! Carl, 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 can you hear me? Yeah, somebody there at the bottom of the stairs? OK, well, Andy Lynch is right at the bottom of the stairs, Stuart, so if it starts to get a bit silly, I don't know, just call Andy up, OK? Hello? Yeah, there you are. I'm all right, it's all right. Look at me, me up. <laughs> and you didn't touch me? No, I, didn't, I, I, didn't, I didn't touch you. Fine. Look at you, full of covenant. What a surprise I've been on the floor. Yeah, Carl's saying that uh, Stuart attacked him again, basically. I'm going to leave that up to you, Andy, to uh, keep an eye on them, OK? You all right? Yeah, Roger, that's two seconds out. Sit down. Oh. 
OK, I just want to know what's going on um, with the seance. I don't think I can actually get radio communication, but um, let's go to them and, s and see what's happening there. Maybe Richard Felix could um, tell us what's going on. All sorts of things are happening at the moment. Um, we're in the middle of the building here. We've got breezes coming over our hands like, like you wouldn't believe it. Derek's actually just picked up on a, a gentleman called Collier, who we know for a fact was, was here. But there's screams and shouts coming from that side of the building, um, where the projection room is, and something awful seems to be happening up in the clock tower, because Stuart and Carla are up there. Um, we just don't know what's happening at the moment, but uh, all hell seems to be letting loose at the moment. Is there any spirit person that is close to the circle of light? If there is, please, you are invited to step forward and come close and mingle between us to express yourself in whatever way you can or you wish to do. We're here in respect of you and also of your presence. Please, come close. Let's hear your footsteps going across the floor. Come and touch one of us in this circle of light. Did you just move then? I didn't. No, I was Did you hear it? No, I didn't, yeah. It was like a little tap, footstep, footstep little slap. Yeah, it was just like that. OK. Everybody keep their feet completely still. Carry on, Darren. Show us some light form. We know you can do that. Please, let us hear more noises, noises that you can actually do. From the back right there. In the corner. From behind, right in the corner. Yeah. Either of you? That was directly after asking about the noise. Yeah. She answered last time. Yeah. Was oh, it Kieran? No, yeah. there's one of the Riggers guys there, and he said it was uh, quite a distance in front of him. It so was what? Quite a distance in front of him, around where that pillar is. He heard it. Okay. Just in case, just so I can explain what's happening. Carl and Stuart have joined, the, joined us again, and they are absolutely fine. We have no idea what went on up there at all, but they're absolutely fine. Please move black. the table more. We split into two groups, so basically, um, uh, David, Richard, Carl and Stuart around it's the table fast, and trying to uh, call out. We've got into a smaller group here, and then we're just, we're, we're just listening to them calling out, and hopefully something will happen either around this group or the group over there. So we're just going to remain really, really quiet, and hopefully, Derek, you might get something, yeah? Okay. Okay, guys, if you call out. Okay. Stuart, she's better say something. I'm just, I'm just saying to Carl, I'm just going to say something now. It's, it, it's not like me to say anything as such, but I actually feel very. What's the word I'm looking for? I actually feel as though I want to punch Carl. <laughs> no, so I'm being serious, and I don't, do know, I don't know why. To do what? I feel as though I need to attack Carl for some reason, and I don't know why, and I've never ever said anything like that before. Now, I don't know if that's anything to do with what happened upstairs earlier on. I mean, the spirit... I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not... <laughs> don't get that's me wrong, right. Andy. <laughs> you know, is there a spirit here that's playing around with me and you, or...? I don't know. Is it Mr. Parks? Davis? Over to you. Well, well it, it can attack you. happen. There is an, aggr if there's an aggressive energy around it. That, you know, like Jack and I were saying earlier, it can, imp it can impose itself on mm. you. Does anyone here please move this glass? Are you male? If you're male, please move the glass. The male energy. Okay. Oh. Oh. oh that's weird. You're feeling alright, you're feeling better. I need to know whether I can relax. <laughs> What's the matter? Mm. Oh, I don't know. Is that a white point to Stuart? Do you want me to ask? I don't um, know. Go on, put your finger back on there, Stuart. 
whoever you are, is it that you don't like Stuart? Point to Stuart if you don't like him. No, that's not very conclusive. Point to the person that you don't like at this table. Ooh. Right, OK. Put one to you first. Maybe it doesn't like both of you. It doesn't like both of you. Yeah. I, I, don't know. Know. I don't know. I think he's trying to mess, well, mess ask, with their ask, minds. Ask, 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 who well, ask who it is. Ask who it is. Yeah. It was ask so the likeable. Names. Ask the names. We need to know who it is. Is it... Was it Reverend Collier? Are you Reverend Collier? Are you Godfrey Parks? He's the man. Are you Godfrey Parks? Oh. oh. Reverend Oliver. Are you Reverend Oliver? Is your name David? Is your name Michael? Was it Pete? Is it Peter? That's Parks coughing himself up. It really is. Godfrey Parks, is it you that's really here? Come on, show yourself. Don't be a coward. Is it you? Godfrey Parks, are you here with us now? Have you come downstairs? No. Just, but are you the negative energy that we met upstairs? <laughs> OK. Can I ask you to push me over, or if, 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 if it, you, Stuart? I'll ask you yeah. to push me over. Are you the spirit that that, that pushed Carl over upstairs? <clears throat> OK. Yes. But we don't know who it is. No. Did you use Stuart to do it? <gasps> oh, oh well, how weird is him. that? That's so oh. weird. I think every single member of the crew experienced highs and lows. Uh, some were absolutely terrified, didn't know what was going on, there was confusion when people were fainting. There was definitely something going on in Manchester over the three nights, and uh, those three nights, I don't think any of us will forget. I need to get Robert, so it could be Robert Wilde. What was that? That thing that I couldn't really Touch your cross! This is my home, and my family's home. John? Do you want to give that give that camera to someone? Oh, oh. Okay. Oh, that just moved on its own. Someone here. Oh, oh, okay. Give us a noise. Do you, do you hear that? And Godfrey Parks is around this area right now. What's that? It was a brilliant investigation. As I say, everyone took something away from it. Usually. We walk away with more questions than answers, and this is no exception. On the whole, I think Manchester is definitely a place that we've got to stick around and, and investigate a little bit further, because there's definitely some spirits hanging around.